All right, it's Sake 101. We're about to get a lesson in the traditional rice wine. Justin Levis from Sushi Roku in Pasadena is here with Chef Manzu. And I think when you say sake, it's all it's part of the fun. You have to say sake. It helps. <laughs> it definitely helps actually doing that. So we like to bring a lot of energy when it comes to serving guests our sake. So. Now, well, a lot of people go out, they're a little bit intimidated by the sake menu. Mm -hmm. What do we look for? Do we drink it cold? Do we drink it hot? Well, there are both uh, types of sake, hot and cold, but we actually want to focus today on the pairings of uh, our dishes with the cold sake. And traditionally, cold sake pairs better with uh, sushi and sashimi, and also some of our composed dishes that we have here. Okay, you have a number of specialties on the menu, and how do you decide what kind of sake that you would order with what kind of food? Well, the three major categories of, of sake are daiginjo, junmai, and also ginjo as well. Actually, it goes uh, daiginjo, junmai, and ginjo. So um, we actually tend to prefer a little bit of the daiginjo with the sashimi. Sashimi has a little lighter flavor, so daiginjo is a lot floral, nice, uh, nice nose. And then also, uh, it actually pref uh, pairs well with this as well. So. And if you go into the restaurant, you have uh, sake experts there who can <laughs> recommend pairings for you. I'd be more than happy to recommend any sake that you like. And uh, I, I've heard that uh, we call it uh, wine, rice wine, but it, it's more like beer. Actually, it is more similar to a beer rather than wine. It's made from a grain and not a fruit. And it's also, uh, it's brewed. It's actually made in a, what we call a kuda, which is a brewery. So it's a lot more similar to a, brew, uh, a beer than a wine. But it is made from rice. You it brought sure some is. of the grains here. We did actually. What we have here is actually we have the unmilled uh, sake rice. And then actually it goes in different grades. If you see the smaller, the better, uh, the more the artisanal craftsmanship. And also uh, the other uh, grades as well. And is there a, a preferred way to serve the sake? I notice you have it in the small glasses here. Uh, we like to serve it in our decanters right here and also by the glass. So it comes to the table like this? Comes to the table just actually, it comes to the table on ice. Oh, just like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, we're going to taste some sake, is that right? Uh, we sure we're, are. We're going to look for some uh, different flavors. We sure are. Um, if I may, would you care for a little bit? Now, which one is this? This is actually the ku uh, Kubota. The Kubota right, we have here. So, what am I looking for? Um, you're looking for a great I'm nose. I'm smelling it like it's <laughs> wine. Is that proper? And that is absolutely proper. Oh, it is? There's okay. a lot of similar characteristics when it comes to tasting wine and also sake. That is so mild. Yeah, it really is. It's very delicate. It's almost like water. It actually is, yes. Is it water? <laughs> Are you teasing me? A little bit. Maybe I, I shouldn't take another sip because it <laughs> tastes like water. Yeah. Okay, and what's next? Actually, next was, would be our salmon carpaccio done with fresh shaved truffles, a little frise on top as well. And this is actually what we like to pair with our uh, ginjo. Now, ginjo, this is going to have a little bit more acid to the dish. So you want a little, uh, your sake, you want it to stand up to the dish as well. You don't want it to necessarily overpower. And that's actually how we like to pair sake. Now, we also have a few more dishes as well to try and go to the different grades also. Okay, what are the other dishes? Um, right here, actually, um, we have is our American Wagyu skewers done with a black pepper sauce and also our Jidori chicken skewers done with a little teriyaki as well. Uh, and we like to pair this with a heartier sake, mm -hmm. which is your, uh, your jumai. Okay, yeah. and which one is that? Uh, Juma is right over here. They all yes. look Actually, the same. Actually, if I may, this is our, <laughs> if I'm right over here, this is our, um, this is our own brand here that we have made in Suihiro, Hiro, Japan, and this is a Jumai Roku. So this is what we recommend with hearty dishes. And, and Chef, I noticed that in the food preparation, there is so much color and, mm -hmm. and texture. Because Japanese food have to be uh, visual first. Visual. And, yeah. It looks nice first, and after that, we're gonna be taste. It's so yeah, so it's so pretty, and you're using a lot of florals and uh, yeah, and lots of greens in the mm -hmm. food as well. Green. I put the little colors, I mean, uh, yellow, pink, you know. Yeah, very, very pretty, bright, Thank bold you. colors. And you have a special going on at the restaurant in Pasadena right now, we celebrating do. your 15th anniversary. We do an honor of our 15th anniversary right now, from this Sunday, the 15th through Thursday, the 19th. We're offering 50% off all food. Um, for dinner. So people can come in, enjoy the food, enjoy and, and get some great sake recommendations. Enjoy some sake. I will be there and we'll be having a great time. All right, Justin, thank you so much. Thank Chef, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. For more information about Sushi Roku, again, they're in Pasadena celebrating their 15th uh, anniversary. You can just go to our website. It is kcal9.com. Click Scene on TV.